This is how we worship. Prepare worship with prayer. Wear proper attire. Bring your Bible. Prepare your offering. Sit properly for worship. Organize and clean your surroundings. Avoid distractions. Lift up your voice for praise and worship. And finally, give God your full attention. Let's worship. Three, two, one. Okay, how many kids? Let's all stand up and praise the Lord. I'm reading my BIB early, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how JSUS came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this Let's go When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how JSUS came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. But our God knows exactly what I need. God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door
Hey church, are you already tired? Come on, let's praise the Lord. Welcome to Sunday worship. Can you guess what these are? Looks very familiar, right? Can I possibly eat this without cooking them? What do you guys think? Let me actually give it a try. No, 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 no. Yuck. It's so yuck and it's not taste, it doesn't taste like anything. Now in order to eat a delicious mac and cheese, you first need to cook them in a hot boiling water. But what if you could talk to an object or hear them? If you say, okay, it's time for you to go into boiling water, what would the noodles say? Well, probably they'll say, No! It's too hot! Save me! <laughs> Oof! Thank goodness. Noodles don't have feelings or don't feel any pain, right? Mac and cheese will only be edible when you put noodles in hot water and boil them, right? 
is to go through some hardship for perfection. In today's Bible verse, we talk about two sisters who went through hardship to see God's complete sovereign power. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha. Here you go who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus. But Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, tell me okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus. But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, 
unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. In today's story, Jesus' friend Mary and Martha faced the most painful situation. Their brother Lazarus, who was also Jesus' good friend, became very, very ill and is about to die. So Mary and Martha sent a message to their good friend, who is also a miracle worker, to come and heal their brother. When Jesus received the message, he said to his disciples, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. The sickness will bring glory to God and to the Son of God. How can someone's sickness bring glory to God? Don't you bring glory to God by telling other people about Jesus or showing Jesus' love to others? Hmm. Let's actually dig deep into God's words to see what Jesus really meant by bringing glory to God. So after Jesus received the message, he stayed where he was for two more days. Hmm. What would you guys do if you hear that your friend is really sick? Wouldn't you go running to your friend? But Jesus stayed for two more days. Do you think Jesus was being lazy or do you think Jesus didn't really like Lazarus? No, Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen to Lazarus and what he would do. So what happened to Lazarus and what did Jesus do? Let's move on. So after two days, Jesus arrived in Bethany where Lazarus and his sisters lived. By the time Jesus arrived, Lazarus has been dead. He is in a tomb and it's been four days. Wait, what? Where? In the tomb. So, okay, rewind. So Lazarus died, right? He was really sick and he died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she hurried to meet Jesus. But her sister Mary, she stayed home. Martha said, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know, I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told Martha that her brother will rise again. When I was reading this Bible verse, my reaction was, Now say, what? what? But Martha said that her brother will rise from the dead in the future, on the last day. But that's not what Jesus meant. So Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes me will never die. Do you believe this? Martha answered yes, and she said that she believed that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. Now, church, this is very, very powerful. Although Martha didn't know what happened to her brother, she believed in sovereign power of Jesus, and she believed that he is the Messiah, the Savior. After Martha spoke to Jesus, she went to go get her sister. Mary came to Jesus along with all the other people who were comforting her. She fell on Jesus' knee and she said, Only if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Now Mary was crying, and so was Jesus. Jesus wept. Mary led Jesus to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. His tomb was kind of like a cave, and a huge stone covered the opening. 
Jesus told people to remove the stone. Now guys, think about this. Lazarus has been dead for four days. And it's kind of smelly in there. Jesus told people to remove the stone, and so that's what people did. What would Jesus do here? Now Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you hear me. And he shouted, Lazarus, come out! Dawa! Dawa! And guess what happened, boys and girls? Lazarus came out of the tomb. wrapped in linen and cloth. With Jesus' sovereign power, Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. Do you think Jesus knew what he would do when he heard that Lazarus was sick? Definitely! Through Lazarus' death, he showed his power over death. Jesus could have healed Lazarus from dying, right? But Jesus showed his power over death. Hardship is not the end. Jesus works within your hardship. Jesus is always in perfect control and He has power to heal. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins to save us from eternal death. His salvation power did not end in death. He conquered the death and He rose again. Jesus is our Messiah, so let's trust in Jesus' sovereign power to deliver us from eternal death. Never hesitate to come to God. Don't let anything stop you from coming to your Father for help. Our mighty, loving, and creator Father, He cares for you. Let's trust in His power. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are sovereign God. Lord Father, we thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Father, we believe that we can be saved through Jesus. Lord Father, uh, please help us to come to you, get on our knees and come to you whenever we face hardship. Lord, help us to know and believe that you are working in the midst of our hardship. Father, we thank you for your perfect plan. We love you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it, boys and girls, and I'll see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we are going to say the Lord's Prayer all together. So everyone, your hands together, close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!